Are date labels crowding the x-axis of your Excel graph? In this short video, which is tied to an exercise of the same name, we'll look at two alternative approaches. First, we're going to turn our years into super categories and pair those with abbreviated months for a cleaner aesthetic. Then we'll look at a second approach where we label just the quarters on our x-axis. Either of these approaches is going to create a cleaner feel. And it's these sorts of small changes that can have big impact when it comes to your overall graph. Today, I'm going to walk you through a quick Excel how-to for dealing with a crowded x-axis. So I'm in the file, uh, this is from one of our exercises in the Storytelling with Data community called X-Axis Alternatives. Just give you a quick rundown of how things are organized here. We have our data at the top. There's a column for date, which is in the month abbreviation and then the two digit year format that's common in Excel. And then revenue in terms of millions of dollars. This data is graphed below in this line graph. And notice Excel's done me the nice favor of diagonally orienting the text on my x-axis labels. And now that's so that they'll fit in the available space, but I don't love that. So today we're going to look at two alternative ways of labeling that x-axis that'll allow us to avoid the use of diagonal text. So I'm going to start just by moving our data over. This will give me some space to add some new columns that we can put our new axis labels in. So I'm going to do one for year, month, and quarter. And so we'll just start filling these in. I'm gonna put the year just in the first point of each of these. So notice 2019 corresponds with when we flip in the monthly data from December 18 to January 19. Now I'll start doing our months. And now I'm going to use all capitals for the months. You certainly don't have to do this. Uh, I like this because it creates these nice rectangular shapes in my axis labels that look clean compared to the mixed case that are the sort of jagged edges you get with mixed case. And wow, it turns out it's actually quite difficult to type and talk at the same time. Now for quarters, I'm going to label each quarter with both the quarter number and the year in the second position. So in the middle of each quarter, and we'll see why that is momentarily. Okay, so now I have some additional columns that I'll use, uh, as I mentioned, for a couple different alternatives. Let's now make some copies of this graph so that we'll be able to see them side by side. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to stick one up here. We'll use that for our month and year. And then a second one here that we'll end up using with our quarter labels. So let's start up top into our month and year first. So I'm actually just going to right click on this graph and say select data. So when I do that, we'll see Excel highlights the data that the graph's currently pointing to. What I want to change are the horizontal axis labels, the data that it's pointing to for that. So I'm going to click here and just come over. And now instead of the one column, I'm going to highlight both of these columns that have the year and the month in them. And Excel actually formats, formats that quite slickly when you do it. If this felt overcrowded, uh, we could do a couple of things here. We could change the uh, width of the graph to give it a little more space, or uh, we might adjust the size of those dates a little bit, just give a little bit of space so things don't feel quite so crowded. Next, let's get another alternative where we label just the quarters. So I'm going to keep the data as monthly, but only uh, have quarter labels on there. So I'll do the same thing that I just did with the graph above and point my x-axis labels at that quarter column that we created. And notice I am starting with the blank cell at the top so that the labels will be in the right spot. We're gonna take one more step with this one, which is now that I have my quarters in there, notice that I still have tick marks on every single month. So I'm going to actually change that. Uh, click on the axis and in the menu that comes up, uh, it gets cut off on the screen here, but I'm going to select format axis. 
I'll do a couple of things in the panel that comes up here. I'm going to make my axis cross between tick marks. That's just going to line things up the way I want. And since we're looking at quarterly rather than every month, I want every three months to have a tick mark. So I'm going to close out of that. Uh, come off of my graph here. And now we see those tick marks coming up just in between the quarters. And the quarter label appears in the middle of each of those bands, which is what we want. So these are certainly not the only alternatives, but these are two other easy approaches to labeling when you've got a crowded month and year x-axis going on in your graph. And little things like this go a long way just in terms of making our data more accessible, making our graphs feel easier to read, which in turn means people paid more attention to our graphs. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for tuning in.